Hi everybody, I'm McGean and this is your Tuesday Technique for the Daily Belly Dance Quickies. Today I thought I'd talk about a couple different kinds of turns. So turns, although they're not inherently proprietary to belly dance, are something we use all the time. And we're going to go over a couple of different types. So the first one, the most basic one that we're going to go over is a basic three-step turn. So in a three-step turn, we're going to just take three steps. The first step is going to be wider. The second step will turn us around to the back and keep our leg in narrower. And the third step will open ourselves out and step wider again. So if I'm going to the left, we have left, right, left, like that. The basic arm for this is that when the step is wide, the arms are out. When the step comes in together at the back, arms come in closer, and then they open back out. Now this is very useful for putting another step on the end of a string of things and to go back and forth this way. Or if I was going to do them this way, I could also travel this way, you know, parallel to my audience as well, or perpendicular, I should say. Okay, so when we do something like this, we turn one, two, three, that fourth count allows us to step and set ourselves up into doing something like drop kicks like this, or any other step that we want to do, or we can automatically just turn back from side to side. One, two, three, hold on the fourth count. One, two, three, and come back like that. Now, relative to that, we have two-step turn, and for a two-step turn, we just have one, two, and then we go straight into something else. Usually, we use a two-step turn in the context of continuing travel. So that keeps us going in the same direction. So I'm going to move over this way a little bit. And if we just look at that with just plain old walking, we could have step, step, turn, and step, step. Maybe with some arabesques in there or any other thing we wanted to do. So that would keep us going, would have some flow with that. So another turn that we have that's very common is our pivot turn. And for our pivot turn, I'm going to do this one to the front and to the back here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be stepping forward with our weight on one foot. Then we're going to turn around and step with our weight onto the other foot. So here my right foot is free. I'm going to step my right foot to the back. Then I'm going to turn around and step on my left foot like that. And that's a pivot turn. So this one doesn't have as much flow. It feels like it's in halves and it's often used in halves. So if you have something here and you go from the front to the back, then perhaps you're going to do something facing the back, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to turn to the front, and then do something else facing on the front. So this one can be used continuously, or it can be used in halves like that. It doesn't have as much flow. So those are some things that are just a couple, three different turns for you. And the, the one good way to practice these turns is to put them in the context of your drilling. So for example, let's say you're going to drill hip drops and drop kicks. You can take your basic three-step turn, one, two, three, and go ahead and drill your drop kicks, drill your hip drops, whatever you want. And when you're ready to drill for the other side, go to the other side and use a turn and take a turn to travel with it. And the same thing if you're going to use a tra drill traveling steps. So if you were going to drill traveling steps, let's make a three-quarter shimmy. Here, here, step. Turn, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, step, turn, like that. So you can practice your turns in context with your regular drilling. It's a nice way to do it. And the same thing with your pivot turn. Whatever skill you have, if it's a stationary skill, perhaps go ahead and switch from side to side with your pivot turns. So there you go. That's a little practice tip for you this week. And I will see you next week. And I hope you all have a lovely Thanksgiving. You're getting ready for the holidays. And uh, if you are not subscribed to the other days of the Daily Belly Dance Quickies, go ahead and take a look in the box down there and check it out. See you later.